guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I am going to be showing you five five dollar winter soups that you can do in your crock pot it has been almost a year since I did my last five dollar dinners and I thought that I would bring it back for the winter time so all of these groceries I either have on hand or I bought at Aldi or Walmart so I'm doing the price comparison for Walmart in my area please keep in mind the price of groceries is different for you where you live so it may not be as cheap as it is for me in Texas but all of these are about five dollars and they're super yummy and filling for your family I will see y'all at the end of the video I hope y'all enjoy
Okay, so I left my crock pot going all day with the dumplings, and so what happened with the biscuits is they kind of got mushy, and that's supposed to happen. So they kind of mush into just like a liquidy, mushy biscuit, and you mix it in, and so you have little chunks of dumplings, and you can have it like that, but I like to do that because I'm not gonna have to add really any milk or flour because my biscuits are going to make the soup thicker. So whenever I got home, I mixed it and I took my other can of biscuits, cut them into fourths, threw them in the crock pot, turned it on low again because it had already gone to the warm setting. I let it cook for two more hours and now we're gonna eat it so it looks pretty good. My biscuits are almost done and now I can stir them in and oh my goodness, it's so good. Um, and if you wanna make it runnier, you can add milk. If you need to make it thicker, add flour. But this is done. Turned it off because it's really hot. And now I'm gonna make the best cornbread ever. Krusty's Honey Cornbread. Aldi has like an off brand of this and it's pretty good, but this is so good. Okay, so this is a crock pot meal that I'm slightly worried about because I am going to work. Um, this is gonna be a crock pot meal that you need to stir throughout the day because the chicken, I'm not the chicken, the cheese could like just get stuck and clumpy and it's gotta be stirred a lot. If it's too runny, you can add flour. If you need it to be thinner, you can just add milk. My husband is gonna be home around the house for a little bit today, so I'm gonna ask him to stir it for me like every 30 minutes to see 
So crossing your fingers, this one was not a dud. Okay, so I definitely put in way too much spinach this morning. So it doesn't look good. Just a disclaimer, but I'm gonna taste it. Okay, it tastes good. It's kind of got like a little kick, like it's kind of spicy. So my suggestion would be don't put that much spinach and maybe don't put the sour cream in all day. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope that you enjoyed. I will see you for next week's video. Also let me know down in the comments some more video ideas y'all would like to see for the holidays and the winter. Let me know what you want to see. I will see y'all again in next week's video. Bye everybody.